So basically everyone sacrifices all of the time of their life for pieces of paper with dead people on them. And they never really think about why they do that. So everyone's life is chasing the Benjamins. If you foreign viewers, a Benjamin is Benjamin Franklin. He's on the hundred dollar bill. I think he's on the hundred, might be on the 50. I can't remember. I think it's a hundred. Um, and so it's, it's, it's odd that the purchasing power of your money keeps being stolen from you every year. So if you saved $100 20 years ago, now you've maybe got half left because it's worth nothing. You can't buy anything with it. And so why could you buy a cheeseburger for 10 or 20 cents way back when from McDonald's and now it's $1.20, $1.30? Why is it 10 times more expensive? Because they keep printing the money out of thin air like a joke. So no one needs your money that you worked hard for when they can go get the new printed out of thin air money from the government. And so the government is stealing your money from you, but they're not stealing the units, they're stealing the purchasing power. So they're, instead of taking away your units, taking away your currency out of your pocket, they're inflating the prices and making it so that you can't buy anything. So instead of taking your money, they're raising the prices by just printing money. And this is disgusting okay. because you're literally stealing from people. And the people that are hurt the most by this are people that have fixed income, people that are retired, people that are injured, people that uh, are on Social Security. You know, they, it's very hard for them to increase the amount of money that they make to try and survive. And now they can't afford to eat or get gas. And then the government is like, oh, we can't just print thin money out of, you know, you can't just print money out of thin air and hand it to people. It's literally just sending people checks. There was a theory. Yeah. Economists always said, well, you could, you could do helicopter money to just drop money from helicopters. They did it. Like, it's no longer a theory. They actually, the government literally just started sending people checks. And the unfortunate problem is that is it turns everyone into a slave to the government. And God forbid if the government doesn't like you for some reason and the check doesn't come, now you have to die. And America is a lot like that. Wow. Oh, your leg breaks. No. Die. Oh, you you know, oh, you need some expensive medicine. Eh, sorry, die. You know, there's no social medicine. You can get free emergency room, kind of, but that's not the best way to help humans, right? You want to do preventative medicine. You don't want to wait for everything to be an emergency. So, yeah, America, it's it's got some problems. One of them is stealing the money from the people by just keeping printing. Now, if you think you've got it bad yeah. in America, they got it worse everywhere else. So in Europe, you know, you used to be able to buy one point, uh, about $1.3 with a euro. Now you can only buy 1.03. So about a third, mm -hmm. you, so basically if you're an American, you get like a 40% free extra bonus money to go buy stuff in Europe now because your currency is 40% stronger. And, th and then like, is that fair? So a guy that lives in America can now outbid a guy that lives in Europe for a house by 40% for no reason. So, so even though the dollar is horrible on its own, it's, better than the foreign currencies elsewhere in the world. So, so cryptocurrency solves a lot of these problems. You know, instead, instead yeah. of just the government printing free money all the time and making your money worthless, now you hold something that can't be printed out of thin air. You hold something with a very low inflation rate or sometimes a negative inflation rate, a deflation rate, where it becomes more and more rare and more and more valuable. And then when you save, you're default richer in the future. But if you hold a dollar, you're default poorer in the future. And that sucks, you know? You get locked up, hospital, jail, something, you come back, you're poor. Not because you spent a nickel, but because the prices are all so much higher. Wow. This, this Rolex from the yeah. factory was $600,000. Now, to buy it, I paid $1.4 million. Why does it cost twice the money now? Because everyone has too much money. Like, it's, it's mm -hmm. stupid. And that, that's okay. They're solving yeah. that. They're raising interest rates, and now the stock market will go down. House prices will go down. Bitcoin, Ethereum will go down. The prices of everything will go down. Yeah. Right. Okay, great. <laughs> Yeah, they're, okay, they're reintroducing I, I, a little bit of purchasing power to your dollar.